Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 112 and x minus y is equal to 4. Our job is to find all possible values of x plus y. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. From equation 1 x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 112. By using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This x cubed minus y cubed will become x minus y times x squared plus uh, x times y plus y squared is equal to 112. Next, x minus y times, we rearrange these terms, uh, we write this x squared and uh, plus y squared, x squared plus uh, y squared. And to make this a perfect square, we subtract and add 2xy. We subtract 2xy and we add 2xy plus this xy is equal to 112. Next, x minus y times this uh, x squared plus uh, y squared minus 2xy will become x minus y whole squared plus this uh, 2xy plus uh, 1xy will become 3xy is equal to 112. Now we replace uh, this x minus y and this x minus y with this value of x minus y 4 from equation 2. So this will become 4 times 4 squared plus uh, 3 times x y is equal to 112. Next 4 times uh, this uh, 4 squared will become 16 plus 3xy is equal to 112 and 4 times 16 is 64 plus 4 times 3xy 12xy is equal to 112. We subtract 64 from both sides. So this positive 64 will be cancelled out with this negative 64 and we are left with 12 times x y is equal to 112 minus 64 will become 48. Now we divide both sides by 12. So this 12 will be cancelled out with this 12. And we are left with x times y is equal to 48 divided by 12, 4. Let's call this equation equation 3. Now we take a square of both sides of equation 2. Equation 2 is uh, x minus y is equal to 4. Equation 2 is uh, x minus y is equal to 4 and we take square of both sides. By using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. This x minus y whole squared will become x squared plus y squared minus 2xy is equal to 4 squared is 16. 
Now we replace this xy with this value of xy4. So this will become x squared plus uh, y squared minus 2 times the value of xy is 4 is equal to 16 and uh, x squared plus uh, y squared minus 2 times 4 a is equal to 16. Now we add 8 to both sides. So this get cancelled and we are left with uh, x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to 16 plus 8 uh, 24. Let's call this equation equation 4 and we recall equation 3. Equation 3 is uh, x times y is equal to 4. Equation 3 is uh, x times y is equal to 4. Because uh, we have to find the value of uh, x plus y, so we use this uh, algebraic identity x plus y whole squared is equal to x squared plus uh, y squared plus uh, 2xy. In this equation, we replace this uh, x squared plus y squared with this value 24 and we replace this value xy with this 4. So this will become x plus y whole squared is equal to 24 plus uh, 2 times 4 and uh, x plus y whole squared is equal to 24 plus uh, 2 times 4 8 and x plus y whole squared is equal to 24 plus 8 will become 32. Now we take a square root of both sides. At left hand side we take square root and at right hand side we take square root. So this uh, square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and we are left with uh, x plus y is equal to plus minus root 32 x x plus y is equal to plus or minus this uh, root 32 can be written as a uh, square root of 16 times 2 x x plus y is equal to plus or minus this will become root 16 times root 2 x x plus y is equal to plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 times root 2. It means uh, we have uh, two values of x plus y. x plus y is equal to 4 times root 2 and uh, x plus y is equal to negative 4 times root 2. So, we have uh, two solutions for this equation.